On today's episode of Fresh or Frozen, we are gonna try to beat Frozen Shopao. off. Okay, give it back, give it back. This is actually really good, um, but I don't understand why anyone in their right mind would want to make shopao at home. But if you were to do it, I'm going to show you a very quick and easy and simple way to put it together. So you can actually take this back. What I'm going to do, slightly different to try and get the upper hand here, is I'm going to make my filling a little differently. I'm not going to be doing it shopao asado style. I'm going to be doing it more like a Chinese bauza. So hopefully that gives me the upper hand. Give it back again. But unfortunately, that dough is gonna be really hard to get perfect because these guys have been doing it for such a long time. First thing we wanna do is grab some salt and then put that in some water so we dissolve it completely. Once that's good, you're gonna go ahead and mix everything with your flour. We're using some regular all-purpose flour here. We have some sugar and we have some instant yeast. If you're using active dry yeast, that's completely fine as well. So the only reason we're mixing all these dry ingredients together is to just make sure that they're all completely distributed evenly. Flour first. So we're gonna add our water little by little. We're looking for a nice smooth dough, nothing too sticky. After about 15 minutes, we should be good to go. So we're looking for a piece of dough that is not too sticky, but that's also nice and smooth. This is what we're looking for. So it's smooth, it's elasticy. When you kind of pull it apart like that, it doesn't break all the way, which is nice, which means it's nice and combined. So we need to proof it in a bowl with a little bit of oil, just to make sure that it doesn't stick to our bowl. And then this will basically proof um, covered with a damp towel for about one hour in a warm location or until it's almost doubled in size. While our dough is proofing, we can go ahead and start working on the filling. We're gonna be using some ground pork, so it's a much faster recipe in terms of how we build the flavor. And then to help kind of like mix it up a little bit, we're gonna add about three tablespoons of water. Now we're gonna prep our vegetables. Very simple, I have some ginger, some garlic. To that we're gonna add one brown onion. Start frying everything or sauteing everything in your saute pan or your wok. And now that we're almost there, we're gonna start adding our pork in. We're gonna add some rice wine vinegar. This helps just deglaze the pan. So we're gonna let that steam off a little bit before adding all the other ingredients. That's dark soy, oyster sauce, this is miso paste. And this is the cornstarch slurry. Time for you to meet the baby. So we've got Frankenstein dough happening here. Really kind of nice and soft. All we're gonna do now is basically grab a little bit of oil. So I'm just using some olive oil. Put that on my hands, just like that. A little bit on our rolling surface here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and knead this for about two minutes just to remove some of the air that's in there. So just tap it down with your fingers first. So you just have to punch it down to release some of that gas there. Now that we have that, we can go ahead and weigh everything out. We're going for about 50 gram pieces. Usually when you're gonna fill these up now, um, so you'll have one hand that's dedicated to filling and then one hand that's gonna be dedicated to pinching. But before that, it's really important that our mixture is actually cool. So you can put it out on a sheet tray just like this. And this is where we're gonna add our chopped scallions, 
So it keeps it nice and fresh and it doesn't kind of make them all too mushy. It's like when I make burritos, I always tend to overfill. There's a bunch of like places in the Philippines where you can get chow bao, and honestly, it looks like this, okay? It's usually not perfect, so let's not be sticklers about it. As long as it tastes good, that's what's important, not what it looks like. I'm just saying that because I know it looks like right now. To get this really big and fluffy, you can proof this uh, for up to one hour more, um, but you can check it after 20 to 30 minutes and see if it's a size that you want to look at and if it looks like it's airy enough for you, then you can go ahead and start the steaming process. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to place them in a steamer. The water isn't boiling yet, but it's nice and hot already. And then just place them with your wax paper, whatever you're using right into the steamer. It's really important. You can use steel, you can use bamboo steamer if you want. One of the key things is that it's porous at the bottom so that the steam doesn't get trapped. If the steam gets trapped and you were to put this on a plate, for example, um, you just get a very soggy shop out. We've tied a piece of cloth or cheesecloth on our steamer's cover just so that the condensation doesn't fall back onto the shop out and make it wet. So that goes. About 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, once we've run out of that time, we turn it off and we let them kind of like finish and cool off for five minutes with no fire inside. Trapped, make sure never to open this because you want to keep all that moisture and all that steam inside. Okay, this is the pre-made frozen one. Looks pretty perfect. <laughs> and this is ours. Cut our pre-made shop out first. Okay, now I'm getting scared a little bit because that looks pretty good. It's a pretty good ratio. I'm gonna cut mine. <laughs> now I'm scared. <laughs> I feel like I talked so much and then this one's gonna look like crap. Okay, well, I, yeah, okay. This is the first time I make show out, clearly, you can tell. You can clearly tell. So let's bring out our tester, and I'm not feeling good about this one. I'm not feeling confident, but let's see. In you come. Guys, this is Martin. Hey, guys. So Martin is gonna be the one tasting. We're gonna jump straight into it. I, you can tell in my face, I have zero confidence in myself right now. Cheers. Shop on number one. Okay. Shop on number two before you start describing it. Okay. I just need a disclaimer from you that no feelings will be hurt. Zero feelings. Nothing. Nothing. I just have a, a big knife with me. That's it. You need a shave? Um, let me give you <laughs> help. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the first one is actually you know, pretty good. That's the one I didn't make. Just so everyone's clear, that's not the one I made. It's like comparing your shop out to like mystery meat. Correct. You okay. a winner so, there. I feel like, yeah, okay. <laughs> He's being really nice. But if we're question. if we're talking about shop out asado, I personally think I lost. If we're talking about um, something more in the Chinese, kind of like it's more original recipe. Um, plus I do really do feel like the dough we made was better. The dough feels like if you if you bought bread from a commercial bakery versus buying bread from uh, a little neighborhood bakery. There's one that has additives in it oh, yeah. and everything like that. Whereas a ours feels life. a bit more homemade, a bit more um, made by hand. So yeah, all in all, just to wrap up, I lost, <laughs> as long as we're clear. I lost and I'm happy to lose against Shop Osado, especially this brand, which is a pretty good brand. But I do think that we did something a little different. I know that's not the, the whole point of the show, but just accept it. People's champ. People's champion, that's right. That's still a belt. 